Hey guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Hobbywing Wi-Fi Express and specifically how I use it in my HB Racing E817. Now I have it hooked up with an Z-Run XR8 Plus speed control and of course their 4268 Z-Run 1900 KV motor. So the Wi-Fi Express from Hobbywing is pretty small, a little less than an inch in size overall. And just to give you an idea on a comparison, there is an SD card. So it does have a six inch receiver lead that goes straight out to your ESC. And then of course a four inch antenna for the Wi-Fi hotspot it does create. As far as alternatives out there, the Wi-Fi Express creates a very small package with the alternatives of being the programming boxes or worst case, lugging your Windows-based laptop around to program your ESC. Hooking up the Wi-Fi Express is pretty easy. Now I've simply unplugged my fan on the XR8 Plus and you just simply plug it in, keeping in mind which side the black goes onto. In this installation, I am using it as a plug and unplug aspect. Now there is an option and it does come with the Wi-Fi Express, but it is a Y adapter to keep the Wi-Fi Express and your fan hooked up on your vehicle at all times. That way you can make adjustments while on the driver's stand. Once you have downloaded the Hobbywing app from either the App Store on iOS or the Google Play Store, if you're using an Android device, you have it installed on your device. Device. I'm using it here on my iPad, but you can use it on pretty much any phone or anything that runs a Android or iOS system. As far as security, once you create your Wi-Fi hotspot, it is password protected. And I found that you can only connect one device to that Wi-Fi hotspot at a time. Once you have the app installed and you are connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot, you do want to power your entire vehicle on by starting with hitting your radio on, then plugging in a charged battery, and then powering on your system. You'll notice that the light flashes on the Wi-Fi Express and you are fully hooked up in the system. Now that we have the vehicle on, go ahead and hit the hobby wing link and it brings up the main screen here want to go ahead and tap on the little esc icon and it's now connecting to the esc it'll start flashing right here saying that it is connected throughout the time that you're using it right here we have six different features and i am definitely no expert to this date but i've probably uncovered about a quarter of what this wi-fi express can do the first thing is the parameters and this is going to be the main section of what it can do right here i have the xr8 plus uh, signified and I have it labeled as my HB Racing E817 with a little buggy icon. You can choose different icons here at the bottom depending on what type of rig you're running from a crawler, drifter, touring car, truggy. It has pretty much everything, even an F1 car, monster truck, short course, and another truggy looking vehicle. Once you really start looking into what you can control, either from the driver's stand, if you have it on board on your vehicle, or just when you're in your pit section, you can control lots of different items, including the running mode, lipo cells, cutoff, ESC thermal protection, and motor. The basic basic two section gives you a little bit more as far as motor rotate, BEC voltage, max brake force, reverse brake force, start punch, and drag brake. Getting into the advanced section, we have coast, neutral, drive mode, turbo timing, turbo delay, and then data record, which is really impressive. It actually records your max ESC and motor temperatures, your minimum battery voltage, and the max motor RPM. When we flip over to the data record, we're going to get some pretty cool information. Now, I only have one run with this Hobbywing Wi-Fi Express hooked up. So right here under cars, this was the last run I did. So the max ESC temp was 131, max motor temp was 120, minimum battery voltage was down to 13.6, and then the maximum motor RPM was 63,487 RPM. So making changes on the Wi-Fi Express is pretty easy. You just simply click onto the item that you want to control, you select which one you want, and you can easily make that change by doing that and hitting the save button. Saying okay, 
saves it to the ESC, and you're ready to go after that. Easy to make from the driver's stand or in your pit station. Other items that are listed on the Hobbywing app is support, which is pretty nice because it does have user manuals and profile management. If you click over here onto the firmware update, it'll actually list what firmware you are running and if you can update it. it took about less than a minute to update my firmware using my Wi-Fi at home. Well guys, that is a quick little look at the Wi-Fi Express. Now I've had a minimum time on using this thing, so I'm definitely not an expert. I have been learning things almost every time I plug this in, which is pretty cool. Well guys, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I wanted to get this out there because I thought it was some pretty good information. It's so nice to be able to use your devices, including your iPad or iPhone, things that you may have with you at the track that are somewhat small to carry and you always have it with you. So. With that, comments, questions on down below, and as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.